Hello, welcome back. In today's video we're gonna be talking about bar and column graphs. So let's see how to use them in Looker Studio. Previously we were using this area chart and I'm gonna remove that now. Excellent. To add a column or bar chart, let's go to add a chart option again and then we will find bar section here. In this bar section we have several options. Column chart, stacked column chart, 100% stacked bar chart, stacked bar chart and 100% stacked bar chart. So let's pick this first one. As we previously did for our area chart, we will be formatting this chart and based on that we will get all these charts that we have here. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So let's first modify this chart. Instead of order date, I'm going to use product name. Let's place it here and we will be able to see different products. For metric, I'm going to choose sales. Excellent. If I resize this, I will be able to see different products. Excellent. Now, what is the first option that we can add? We can add drill down option. We previously did the same for some other charts. Let me click on drill down. Okay, great. Now I'm going to add product category and product subcategory. Excellent. If I click on view, if I click on this drill down button here, I will be able to see different product categories and then different product subcategories. Excellent. If I choose specific product and if I click on drill down, I will be able to see product category for that product and also product subcategory for that same product. Excellent. Let me go back to edit mode. I'm going to remove this drill down option. We don't need that one. And now I can add breakdown dimension. Here I'm going to add region. That's the value that we previously used. Okay, now what we can see here. We can see sales for this specific product in each of these regions. Now let's see what's the difference between those specific column and bar charts that we have in our section. So next one is stacked column chart. If I go to style, if I scroll down, I will be able to click on this stacked bars option. In that case, immediately I will get my stacked column chart. Excellent. If I click on this option here, I will get my third option, stacked column chart. And basically now instead of value, we get these percentages. So we can see what is the percentage in North America, also Asia and then Europe. If I click on this show total card, I will be able to see also total value at the bottom of this card. We can also add data labels. If I click on compact numbers, I will be able to see them better. Also, we can format these values, but for now I will leave it as it is. Let's remove data labels and I'm going to remove this option. Excellent. Now let's see what other options we have. If I go to style, we can make it horizontal and this way basically we will get stacked bar chart, we can change it to bar chart if we remove our breakdown dimension and we can also make it 100% stacked bar chart. We can also choose number of bars that we would like to present. If I put 5 for example, we will be able to see only first 5 values. You can also group others, we have similar options for other charts that we previously covered. Let's scroll down, we can change these colors as well. Let's click on this one for example can make it single color, bar order. So instead of this, I can use, for example, this color and so on. We can add a reference line. That's the option that we previously covered. Let me scroll down. We can also remove axis if needed. We can also choose spacing between those bars. So if I move it to 50%, for example, let's see what will happen. We will have more space between those bars. So you can customize this as well. Excellent. There are other common options that we have for other charts. For example, grid, we can change grid, legend and background and border. Basically, those are all options that we already covered for previous charts that we were working on. Okay, great. With this, I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.